Here we go. Question number one from our 0314 homework number two in my lab math. They ask us to solve and we are given an absolute value equation. All right, so what you need to know is that the stuff inside of an absolute value is always positive. So whatever this stuff inside works out to be, it's always going to come out a positive number. So there's actually two solutions to this equation. First of all, if this stuff inside is 6, then the absolute value of 6 is 6, and then that will equal, okay? But there's another solution. If the stuff inside is negative 6, the absolute value of negative 6 is also 6. And so both of these scenarios will produce a solution. So what we need to do is we need to take the stuff inside the absolute value and we need to set it equal to 6 and negative 6 both. So here's how this works. We're going to say 4x minus 3 equals 6, and when I solve that for x, that'll be a solution. And we're going to say 4x minus 3 equal to negative 6, that will also produce a solution. And so now let's solve for x. Moving the minus 3 makes it a plus 3, and that's going to give us 4x equal to 9. Divide both sides by 4, x equals 9 fourths, and I like it improper, okay? So let's leave that as an improper fraction. As a matter of fact, if you look over here at my lab math, it says to type an integer or a simplified fraction. So we want to leave that a fraction. All right, next, uh, next case, moving the minus 3 over makes it a plus 3. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3, and divide both sides by 4, we get x is negative 3 fourths. So both of those answers should be valid solutions, and we're going to plug those into my lab math just to check. Okay, here we go. So 9 over 4 should be a solution, and we're going to put a comma to separate the other answer negative three-fourths. Those should both be valid solutions, and they are. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.